Uh, today I'm here at HVAC Korea and we have a special guest from India, Mr. Himanshu Dev. He is here to visit various technology exhibitors and he's going to talk to us about what he saw, he witnessed in this expo. Himanshu Ji, thank you so much for talking to Thermal Control Magazine. Thank you, Prashad Ji. Yeah, so, so you are here for last uh, two days and uh, what are you seeing? What kind of uh, technologies are here at display? See, the basic idea was to, uh, to visit this exhibition was HVAC system in India is going to come sooner. It is there, but it will be uh, coming in full swing in a two, two years time because all commercial buildings are glass buildings. And going with the conventional AC systems where outdoor indoor unit has to be installed, it is not viable. So sooner or later, this HVAC system has to be implemented in all segments. Residential, commercial, industry, and everywhere. Right now, it is more or less into industries, but not in a commercial segment. So, that's you mentioned very rightly, especially a market like India. Uh, still, in uh, residential space, we are not very fascinated with HVAC concepts. So, what kind of market potential you see that it will expand? It is going to expand very fast and in a very big way, because we are we normally the the kind of architectures what we are following is a European European style. And basic, it should not be, it should not happen that, but fortunately or fortunately to save the cost, the glass buildings are coming up. Now, the, the weather in India is very harsh and to, to have a glass, the glass structures, uh, certainly it is hazardous as far as overall natural environment is concerned. But looking to the current scenario, if glass buildings are coming, then HVAC is unavoidable. Absolutely. And you are someone who is visiting this show for last so many years, yeah. 18 years, right? Yeah. And it's a long time. What transition you saw in technologies available for HVAC? See, technology, still we are on a very basic level. Technology used here in Kaforia and other part of US or Europe, they are, they are on a very high level. The, the most important part of this technology, we are not emphasizing on the utility part where where how to put the lines and open line and so, so drainage systems and other things we are just into a very basic mode where you give a give us order people person will come and just install it suppose in in a meantime any leakages or any problems come up people are not able to identify the company is not able to identify that leakage immediately these people they when they install this system they have got a softwares and systems where Wherever the leakage comes up, immediately it, it can be identified. This is one of the challenges, especially Indian uh, tropical climate mm. uh, also brings a lot of challenge for HVAC system installations. Mm. Uh, whereas uh, countries like uh, South Korea have a different uh, climatic conditions. Does that make a big difference for this? Not be, it is basically an architectural solution. If architect give a proper solution and if, if he knows about the system, then he can give you the better solution. The only thing is the the architectures uh, are coming up uh, in in big numbers, but education of the product is concerned. And uh, while talking about the tubes and pipes available for HVAC installations, uh, how well we are educated or we are not trained to do that. We are far behind as far as training is concerned. I'll give you one example. Uh, it's not related with HVAC. Uh, we participated in Bombay exhibitions, international exhibition for a, a, a roof tech. The uh, exhibition was related to roofing system. And we bought, uh, we, we collaborated with a Korean company for a motorized roofing system. The director of that company came with me for the installations and other things. And we took our 14 neighbors from, from my city to Bombay. When that director was start working with that neighbor, he was so fed up, he told that, just leave alone all these neighbors, I'll do myself the whole work. <laughs> because here, sir, means he is equal to 50%. Yeah. 50 is, is, is to 1. Our 14 labor were, were not equal to one person also. So we don't have that uh, cutting edge technology yes, expertise yes. in training. Dedication, training and, and commitment. Most important commitment. Here, whenever we hire any labor, one is they are, they are not so trained and second, their commitment level is very poor. They only, always think of eight hours, how to spend eight hours, that's it. Yeah. And what innovation you see in plumbing side of HVAC, especially here in this expo? 
they have a section separate right here see all this ultimately it comes to the tools availability of tools tools and systems now basically because of this the softwares and other thing so many technologies has come up to to save time and to improve the plumbing installation but we 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 are not having that tools yeah. and suppose if we do have a tools we don't have the train person to handle that job correct so aapne kuch kharida hai i mean you, are you considering to buy something from here no no tomorrow uh, 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 there is one company called falzen falzen korea so we are having a, a agreement ceremony tomorrow with them so we are collaborating with them uh, uh, will be getting the foldable and stackable windows from them who oh, in collaboration so in the first step we will be importing it and gradually we will be starting manufacturing in india so in india we don't how presently we don't have we don't have that system so that is going to be a new market you are going to explore yeah yeah it's a new market and we'll be developing a network sales network for them in india that's fabulous and congratulations uh, for the new agreement thank you thank you thank you so much for interacting with thermal control magazine it's a pleasure you. to have you be in sure thank you